Okay, this is Aaron again with Exalted Lamb 1, and I have a short video here for you. Normally, I do quite a bit longer videos, as you probably know. <laughs> um, I have this video and another short video I'm going to do after this, and then I'm going to do my normal videos um, with a time frame and everything. And I'm looking at that right now. I'm doing a lot of research and checking out a lot of things and correlating a lot of things and all that. It's quite a process, and it takes a lot of time. Um, it really does. If you've ever done something like this and put a lot of information together in one video, like an hour and a half or hour, my videos end up being like anywhere from an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and a half usually, or more sometimes. So as you know, um, it, it just, it, there's a lot of work to it. And so um, I wanted to present a few other things to you uh, before I do that one. Um, and then also um, I wanted to address the people that think these things are hoaxes, they don't get how the Luciferian global elites work. Okay, um, they use real time things with, um, I, you know, going along with false things at the same time. If it's a small event, then they're able to completely choreograph it, of course. Or if it's just like, you know, a news article or something, they can completely fake it. But when we're talking about quarantining millions upon millions, hundreds of millions of people in China, we're talking about a world plague that's coming, that's already coming, that's already here, basically, um, in the United States as well. Um, that's ridiculous. You know, so I want to um, talk about some things that, you know, regarding that and show a couple of videos. And we'll talk about this a little bit. So let me go from here. And I, my next video is going to be some information I want to share with you about a YouTube channel that I highly recommend. Um, and I've talked with him recently and I'm going to get into that on in my next video. So it can be two smaller videos, this one and the next one. Um, so here we go. Let me just go forward here. So I have talked about George, the Georgia Guidestones before. If you're not familiar with them, um, you should just look them up, but I'm just going to share with you. They're the Guidestones. There's 10 guides and they're in different languages. These are massive granite stones that are in Georgia. Okay. Um, just outside of Atlanta, a little ways. Um, and there, it's quite, quite trippy, especially the first one. The very first um, guide is this one right here. The reason why I mention this is because the people that think that this is a big hoax are the same people that usually say uh, that, you know, they, they talk about depopulation and that, you know, the elites are going to reduce the population. And this is an example of this right here. The first uh, guide in this guide stones of 10 guides that was you know, put, in, put on display, I think it was in the 70s at the top of my head right now, um, it was maintain humanity under 500 million people in perpetual balance with nature. And so that means you've got to get rid of billions of people. Uh, and these same people that know about these kind of things and know about these conspiracies that are out there, the real conspiracies, not just theory, um, they doubt when these things are happening, even when they're so plain in your face and thousands of videos are coming out of China and other countries like Hong Kong and Taiwan and different things. I mean, we're talking about thousands of videos. I myself personally have witnessed and watched um, over a couple hundred at least, at least maybe 300. Um, it's staggering what's going on and the timeline and things, how they are changing. I'm going to talk about that, but it'd be like denying this. I mean, right now in news, there are over, there's billions and billions of locusts that are taking over Africa and East Africa, and they're basically going into China now. Um, and they're, they're swarms the size of s big cities, almost maybe even the size of states, um, if, if not now, pretty soon, definitely the size of big cities. Um, this is all fake. Is this fake? Is this fake? Is that fake? Is that fake? I don't think so. I don't think so. The evidence is there. Now, did the glo Luciferian global elites um, use weapons that basically can modify uh, weather um, and make it too wet there? And so their breeding um, is very different and... Um, instead of it getting dry and then they're not laying as many eggs and all that stuff and they're not hatching, um, it's wet and they could basically multiply like crazy. Yeah, they control that, of course. Absolutely. Do they use false narratives? Do they do all kinds of things that manipulate people into doing what they want? Yes. 
but there are real life situations, real life um, consequences that they're putting together. It's not all a hoax. If you look at this and go, oh, that's a hoax. I mean, that's silly. Are you looking at the actual evidence and everything? I mean, so there's a lot of evidence that this is happening. So there's no different than this kind of stuff happening where just in the last couple of weeks, um, the Chinese were basically it's mili- it's medical martial law. And how would you like to be escorted or chaperoned in shopping by these guys, multiple armed um, police officers um, with automatic weapons while you're shopping and you're only allowed to leave your house. One of you out of your whole family is only allowed to leave your house every so, so many days. And then now it's different because now there's, here's a, just a still shot from a video where you can see this truck down in the bottom corner um, and it's got barricades they're putting up. And this is a whole town, a whole, a whole neighborhood, I should say. And I think it's, this one's in Wuhan um, and they're barricading people in. Um, the, and I've shared this many times. They're putting steel bars up. They're they're putting massive gates in front of ho- homes. And you can look this all up. I'll have links in the description box. Once again, three different links, three different webs, or two websites um, that have lots of videos and pictures and things that are coming out. There's so many out there. Literally, literally there's so many. There's thousands. Uh, like I said, I've seen maybe close to 300 of them. Um, things like there was this guy that was in Shanghai, and he's in the middle of a park. And he's looking at high-rise buildings and everything from where he's at. And you can't see one person. He's out there by himself. And Shanghai has like 26 million people, one of the most densely populated um, cities in the world. And he's he's showing video all the way 360 around him. There's not one person in the middle of the day. It's freaky. And I didn't have that video because I had no way to duplicate it. Um, It was very difficult. Anyway, I could probably figure it out eventually, but... Um, and so on the bottom right corner there, there's a semi with these barriers and they're putting them up. And this video is showing them putting them up. So now they're going from allowing people to leave to now b- shutting them in completely. And they've even burned down some buildings as well with people in them and homes with people in them. That's video as well that's just come out recently. This is real people. Okay. And I wanted to mention here, if you haven't heard about this yet, um, I'm a little bit late to the game slightly. Uh, but some people still haven't heard about it because it's pretty crazy. And, I, and I'm going to add some other details to this that people don't know. Um, this is a you know novel by Dean Koontz. In fact, it's a novel, and the uh, the name of the virus initially was novel, and I'm going to call it CV, but you know what it's called, the novel CV. And this is a novel. I mean, give me a break. I mean, again, massive, massive coincidence, and there's no such thing. Okay, and this gives you the information about when it came out in 1981. In fact, they love 19, it breaks down to 1 and 9 is 10, and take away the zero is 1, 8 and 1 is 9, so that's 19. Um, and they love 19 for a number of reasons. And I'm going to let my friend on the next video talk about some of those kind of things, um, which I've talked about myself. Um, and then here is one of the covers of this Eyes of Darkness novel. And see this person's bundled up, it's in the middle of winter, this frost on the window. And, you know, it just so happens to nail this as well in winter. In fact, uh, it was around the beginning of February, 8th, 9th or something. It started snowing in, in Wuhan. And here it is up to this person carrying flowers. It's, they're actually celebrating Valentine's Day or trying to. And there's very few people on the street. This person somehow has flowers. Um, but if you see these other pictures and video, there's just very hardly anybody on the streets whatsoever. It's like a ghost town. Um, but there's an example of snow on Valentine's Day, basically. Um, and that also is shown, like I've shown in iPad Goat, you know, on my last video. Uh, basically, I showed how it says Wuhan in the snow, Wu, um, up, right side up, and it, take that upside down. It says Han. I'm going to show more in my next video how there's more about that in iPad Goat as well. So that's coming. That's coming very soon. Uh, hopefully, I can get this that, that video out in a few more days. Um, it just there's a lot I'm still working on and confirming as well. So what I try to do is I take whatever I find and I, I'm gathering information, I'm gathering things that confirm things and all that stuff. And then I'm trying to disprove my hypothesis and I'm trying to put it up against different things and trying to disprove it. And then um, right now I'm looking at technically at two different time frames, but the but there's one that's kind of winning out right now. And the other time frame, I'm going to just stick a knife in it or stick a fork in it and it's going to be done. Um, that kind of thing. So, uh, 
But, you know, for example, that novel is completely capturing the time of year as well. What's so great about this novel? What, why am I mentioning this if you don't know about this? Well, The Eyes of Darkness by Dean Koontz, in it, it says that they have this manufactured, well, let me read it. They call the stuff Wuhan 400 because it was developed at an RDNA labs outside of the city of Wuhan, and it was the fourth 400th viable strain of man-made microorganisms created at the research center. Wuhan 400 is a perfect weapon. It, it afflicts only human beings. No other living creature can carry it. Um, so this is like a script. Um, just like the movie Contagion. If you haven't watched the movie Contagion, watch it. It's a script as well. And I'm going to talk about that more in my next video as well as um, other, so a couple other movies as well that script out this um, ahead of time, years ahead of time. And there's a lot of connections as well. Um, and so that is page, and I looked at this really closely, and it's actually 353 because this middle one's bigger. These curves are a little bit different. It's 353. And then I was able to find the next page which is 354 in the same novel. And it says, for one thing, you can become an infectious carrier only four hours after coming into contact with the virus. That's an incredibly short incubation period. Once infected, no one lives more than 24 hours. Most die in 12. It's worse than the Ebola virus in Africa, infinitely worse. Wuhan 400's kill rate is 100%. No one is supposed to survive. The Chinese tested on God knows how many political prisoners. They were never able to find an antibody um, or an antibiotic that was effective against it. The virus migrates into the brain stem and there it begins secreting a toxin that literally eats away the brain tissue like battery acid, dissolving cheesecloth. It destroys part of the brain that controls all the body's auto automatic uh, um, function. I would think it would be autonomic, but it's automatic functions. The victim simply ceases to have a pulse functioning organs or any urge to breathe. It's crazy because that's exactly how it's behaving because people are just walking down the streets with masks or no masks or complete full get up with, you know, plastic around their whole body. Um, just everything, the mask, the hat, I mean, everything, the whole shoes, gloves, everything. And they're passing out. Um, I mean, even, you know, healthcare workers have a completely outfitted and they're passing out. They're dying. And there's tons of video of this stuff. So just keep that in mind. That section of on that page right there, 354, just keep that in mind because I'm going to show you something else here soon. And then it just so happens that Wuhan 400, in quotes, right, 400, equals 20 times 20. 20 times 20 is 400. Well, what year are we in? 2020. Oh, that's just a massive coincidence. Eh, wrong. No, I don't think so. And then look at the page numbers. Like I said, this 353 and 354. And I'm pretty good at um, kind of looking at, you know, what's behind the scenes on some of these things. And I've done this for a while. Um, and I prove it out in different ways sometimes, not just one way. But what I believe that's showing as well is the 353rd day of the year and the 354th day of the year. And that's when this is showing those, these details on Wuhan for 400. And it just so happens that the 353rd day of the year on this year, which is a leap year, the 353rd day is December 10th. Why is that important? Because December to the elites is really the 10th month. Decem in Latin is 10. January is the 11th. February is the 12th. I mentioned this many times that our months, September through December, are really Latin. And they're two months off what we think they are. And the elites know what it really is. So December is really 10, so you take a zero away because they don't count zeros. So December is really one. So you have 118 is 353, and then 119 is is December 19th. So December, again, is one and zero. Take away the zero, so you have 119. Well, what are those? Those are twin attack days. Those are twin attack codes I've shared many times. The 118 and the 119 are backwards, 811 and 911. I mean, a lot of people know what 911 is. 811 is a tack code of August 11th as well. And many things were coded to August 11th as well. And my, my friend I'm going to talk uh, to you about in the next video, he basically predicted s several events that have happened um, before they happened using Gematria. And I'm going to show you how that works as well. And he's going to show you as well. So um, that's just a coincidence. And I'm just, no, it's not. And I'm just showing you some, how these kind of things line up, okay? And then it's crazy. So also 353, I've talked about in iPad Go because it shows it in the woman's face who's wearing a burqa and she has a dead boy. And I'm going to get into that in my next video. Just wait till you see some of that stuff. 
Woo, man. Okay, anyway. And so remember how this affects you. So basically, you could have this thing, and all of a sudden, it just breaks through your stem of your brain, and then it you just collapse. And all these people are collapsing, just weird places, right on the street, right in a market, right into the produce. I mean, I've seen everything. It's crazy. I've seen so many videos. It's really phenomenal. It's really, it, it quite a, it, it just, it just bothers me sometimes because I see these poor people suffering because their government is so evil and because the the real people who are running the show, the Luciferian global elites who were really in the high ups in the government, even in China and even the United States and every country, they're doing this to these people and they have to also get rid of a lot of people. Um, and that was something too that I saw months ago and I didn't cover really because it's really not really my, not my forte in covering in videos. There's so many things I see and I could cover, but I just it's really not what I cover in my videos. But months and months ago, I remember China. I saw, I saw articles where China was running out of food, and then uh, Trump was making deals with them as far as food, getting food from here and everything. And they're they're up to 1.5, uh, maybe pushing 1.5 billion people. And part of what's going on here is they're get they got to get rid of a lot of people because they can't sustain that many people, um, and that's also part of what's going on here as well as you know the things that are going on with the new world order being about to be set up completely and everything and things I've talked about. So here's a some uh, these are people just patrolling the streets. Normally they're very busy and things. Um, and here's uh, some video of these three uh, police. Um, patrolling the streets, just kind of dressed somewhat averagely, not super in ride gear and everything like that. And then there's video, and then this there's a it shows a little bit of a close up here. And the guy on the right, he just he's walking normally, and all of a sudden he just collapses. And this is happening. I've seen so many videos of, the, of this, and you see, and then the hundreds of pictures. I mean, I've seen hundreds of videos, and then probably even more, maybe twice as many pictures maybe more than that, of people collapsing and collapsed in the most odd places, um, and they're dead. I mean, they're so dead. So I'm going to show you some things on this video that's kind of these, some of these video clips that are coming. Um, but the WHO cares, right? Or who cares? Yeah, that's funny. Um, not really funny, but it's just crazy. Um, this stuff that's on Twitter, um, they don't care, of course. Who cares, right? Um, so these next clips, I'm going to show you the next two, first two are from Mark and Global Agenda YouTube channel. So thanks, Mark. And then the last one is from Jennifer Zhang. Um, and she has, this is from Twitter. And you can go to Twitter. You can put in, if you don't, not used to Twitter, I don't really use Twitter too much. I, I search for things on Twitter, but I don't have an account. But you can go to basically Twitter search, do a Google search for Twitter search. And then you can put in whatever keywords like Wuhan or stuff about the virus or whatever. And you'll find all kinds of stuff. Plus, I'll, like I said, I'll include these links in the description box. And then you can see tons of videos if you want and see for yourself that this is no hoax. If you believe this is a hoax, wow. I mean, you're you're blind. And you're supposed to believe that this, you know, this stuff that is actually truth is happening when it's happening. Okay, so I'm going to show you this stuff that's coming up here. Okay, here here we go. 你先想象你这个硬隔离是要做什么措施给您信任我打幺二零
。好，那我们就说一下我们的原因啊。你说完了，总归我们要交个言论。两点，第一点，杭州市规定就是说不配合居家隔离，对吧？有一次，你可以不配合。我是在配合，我没有出来。来，这样，这样，好了，等一下。哎，好。我要打电话投诉，幺二三四五已经不让你们装了，好吧？你就硬隔离，你就进锁闭吧，限制人身自由，你们这是非法拘禁。嗯。This is footage of people lying on the street, dead from coronavirus. This is one street inside of city of 11 million people. Wow. I want to count the amount of people there actually are in that video. Counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, eighteen bodies wrapped up dead on a street corner in the city of eleven million people. So extrapolate that towards thousands of street corners. How many people are actually dead if they can't even get the mortuary workers to come pick up the dead bodies every day? Here's footage of an entire street had their doors sealed shut so they couldn't escape. These people have no access to medical treatment. They're going to sit inside their apartments and die. Skip forward a little bit, but you can see the entire street. Wow.
okay, that's just so sad. And it'd be one thing if there's so many, if there's just one of those or a couple of those, there are hundreds of those. There are hundreds of those kind of things where people are running after their loved ones in vans, in cars, police cars, um, when they pass out, when they're dead, they're being carried off dead. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. That's just one. And that shows that's medical people. And who knows, someone that they know, it sounds like a lot of people are crying. Someone that they know that's in a medical profession that they di- they died because they're all in get up. You know, they're all, and if you think this is all, you know, staged and everything, I mean, seriously, I mean, with all the thousands of videos coming out and hundreds of showing similar things, I mean, it's ridiculous. And I want to talk about some local cases here. Uh, Washington State monitoring 712 people for coronavirus symptoms. This was just yesterday. I'm sh- I'm putting this out the night of the 19th of February. Uh, so this, this was just yesterday. Um, we also have um, so many dead bodies. Indianapolis coroner's office out of space. Now the, the people are being ordered not to share the details. Um, and I see this, I've shared a few things in local news on my previous videos, but um, this is going to come out more and more in local news. National news not covering it. As far as everybody concerned, you know, the the fake media, fake news media, there's nine or 15 cases still in the United States. Went from 11, I went from 9 and 11 and 15 and a few, and then, you know, then now it's up to 15. Yeah, right. I mean, give me a break. It's going to be in the thousands right now. I'm sure there's thousands affected right now. It'll It's coming. It's going to be on your doorstep very soon, I believe. Okay, so I would prepare. The first thing you need to do, I believe, is to prepare is come to Jesus and have, if you haven't had your come to Jesus moment, do it, please. He is, he's amazing. You need to know him. Um, and, you know, if he, let's listen to what he tells you to do. Um, I have uh, months of water and food um, already, but I, I'm not planning on using it or very little of it because I believe we're leaving at some point. Um, but if people need it, I'm going to let a lot of loved ones that may, probably won't be going, going in the rapture, going leaving this place, whenever that is, um, which I think it will be very soon after these attack days and things. Who knows how it's going to completely play out. Uh, but uh, I've had instructions of people to have our food and water that we don't use. And if it ends up lasting a little bit, that we need to use some of it, that we do. But I'm not banking on it at all. It's mainly for other people, and I have... We have a few months of food and water for other people as well. So um, definitely, if you're going to do any kind of preparation, do it now while you still can before the panic really starts and things start, things start collapsing. Um, and another thing I want to mention is New York issues gag order to police and EMS. Do not talk. There, there are now allegedly confirmed corona cases um, in Watertown, Buffalo, uh, Rochester, New York. However, the New York state has issued a gag order to healthcare professionals, police, fire, and EMS forbidding them talking to anyone in any form about confirmed or suspected cases of CV. So, you know, you've been warned. You've been absolutely warned. And I had to put this out for the for people to know what, more about what's going on. Check out the links in my description box. And then I'm asking for help again. Um, I need, I really need help right now. Um, I had to quit my job recently uh, for a number of reasons. Um, one of the reasons was um, there was it was snowing a lot here, and it's still snowing. Um, it's very kind of creepy actually, because even though I mean I don't get creeped out too much, but in a sense it's creepy because in the last few weeks it's been snowing and very lightly at times, and sometimes a, few, a little bit heavy, but very lightly. It so reminds me of iPad Goat. Um, I mean, I know in a way it's ash, but it's also snow, and I think it also represents winter. Um, and in Wuhan, it's snowing similarly, and it's just bizarre. It's almost like there's a few days where it's just it's just lightly snowing. Several days it was doing that recently. Um, anyway, it eventually accumulates, and it was hard to drive in it. Um, I had a job where I worked for myself, but I leased a car from a company just a very not a good company. I won't even get into who they are and everything. I, I don't believe in bashing anybody, even though they treated me. They've treated me horribly. In fact, um, they owe me almost a thousand dollars, and they're going to basically take two months to pay that back to me. Um, and there's a number of things going on, so I had to quit this job. Um, anyway, and also I lost a client, kind of legitimately one big client of mine. And then another, two other clients I lost because of, one, because of the company, 
and there's shenanigans. I'm not going to get into all that. I don't believe in just bashing things and people and stuff and airing dirty laundry and stuff very much. I mean, I'll be honest about certain things, but to just get into too much, it's just not beneficial really. Um, but the second one was me just basically sharing the, I've helped this person quite a bit um, and shared the Lord with this person and they were fine for a while and all of a sudden they just freaked out and then just stopped talking to me and stuff and that was a good, good size client for me anyway so as a culmination of several things i just had to quit and adding snow and everything that i couldn't drive in i couldn't risk um having to pay you know a big deposit if i get any kind of accident and all that and it's super slippery out there uh, when it was snowing every single time and there's been multiple occasions of it of snow and and it just wasn't safe driving and then I was paying a big lease every day and everything. So it's a, it's a complicated thing. Um, but anyway, um, I need your help. I need your help financially. Um, I also need your prayers, of course, and sharing these videos, please, please. Um, right now, my main ploys, plea, I should say, main plea is to ask you for money. Um, if you're able to give, I really need it right now for my family. Um, and that's how, what I get here is going to determine how much, uh, if I have a, maybe possibly have a part-time job or do a, another full-time job. I don't really want to do a full-time job because I don't feel like the Lord's leading me to that. I will, I do whatever I need to do for my family and I will do what I need to do. Um, but, uh, the time it takes to do this and do a full-time job. And now that I have twins and everything, it's just and two other children and a wife, <laughs> it's just, it's impossible. So I won't, won't be able to do these videos if I'm, if that's the case, but I think I'm Lord's telling me to do it a certain way. Um, and we'll see how, um, if, if I'm able to get some, you know, help and things, if, if it can continue and all that stuff. So just let you know how this, what's really going on here. And, uh, I want to just, I want to keep doing what I'm doing for a year and a half, but for almost a year, I wasn't, I was doing it for nothing and I was doing it with my job and everything and that, and I just, it, you know, it's just what it was. And, and then I got sick one time and I got behind, I was sick for a few weeks um, and I really got behind and asked for something. And then since then um, I've got to a point where I, I, I asked for money so I can just put more of the stuff out um, and work less. Um, and then just the amount I got is how much I worked or didn't work and everything. And it worked out pretty well until my situation just could not go anymore. I could not have it run on these funky wheels. <laughs> they just weren't, it just wasn't working. I couldn't have it roll anymore, any longer. So um, anyway, I thank you so much. If you're able to give, I really need it. My family really needs it right now. Um, and I'm going to have some serious videos out here uh, pretty soon. That'll give you more information and uh, support more people. And, and by the way, like I've said before, um, right now I've reached over, 500,000 new people with this message and warnings and different th different things that I share about the tack days that are coming and things and I've reached over 1.5 million views um I mean you know that's a drop in the pan for you know a lot of YouTube channels of course but for me a little guy who has you know over 15,000 subscribers it's it's I'm very thankful for that and I thank all of you that have given to me and my family just my heart goes out to of, for thanks and i just thank you thank you thank you even if, if i haven't got to you the thank you with email or whatever i just thank you and i thank you for what you're going to give and everything um it means the world to us every kind of gift it just really does um and my heart is to give and i've given like i said for a year without getting anything and i don't i don't believe in um doing uh or monetizing my channel literally <laughs> I was watching a couple people's channels recently that, uh, you know, they share truth and everything and they monetize and literally they had these ads for stuff I know they don't agree with. And I'm, I'm like, how could you do that? You know, I'm not going to judge people and whatever that stuff to, and I'm not going to, you know, look down on them or whatever, but I can't do it. I can't monetize my channel with ads that are against what I believe. I mean, I just won't do it. And I, and I, if I didn't, if I could not have to ask for money and say these kind of things at the end of a video, trust me, I wouldn't. I don't like it. I don't want to. As you can imagine, I mean, sure, who likes to ask for money? Nobody. And so I just feel like the Lord's leading me to say this and, and do this for this amount of time until the time is up, possibly. And that's how I roll. So I'm rolling right now. So I hope you understand that. And I'm going to just do my best on this channel for all of you. 
um, and all new people to get them as much information as I can to make them think and look at things differently and possibly warn them about the crud that's coming and the and the crud that's happening right now. So that should be it for me. And thank you so much for any gift you can give um, and sharing this. And please pray for me, my family. I think for all the prayers, we've just definitely noticed them and they've helped and it helped us get through all kinds of challenges and attacks constant attacks oh my gosh if you're on youtube and you're sharing truth at all you're getting attacked it's just guaranteed i mean so thank you so much and this is exalted lamb one over and out